Bill Ruger's Mini-14 rifle was never really a military rifle, but it was adopted by police forces all over the world, including the French Gendarmerie. To the French, it is designated Mousqueton, or think of that as short rifle, or a, a subcarbine almost. Mousqueton AMD 5.56. AMD standing for Armement Moyen de Défense. Most of us probably didn't even know it existed until we saw it on the news following the, uh, the Charlie Hebdo attacks in, in Paris uh, earlier this year. And uh, you saw the French police with them just about everywhere. It reintroduced that rifle to the world uh, during a time of terrorism and fear. And the iconic image of uh, French policemen on the street with their Rugers uh, is a pretty landmark moment in Ruger history. The Ruger Mini 14, from on which the, the French rifle is, is just a variation. It was a very successful design. Magazine fed, semi-automatic rifle making use of the short recoil gas port system that was really developed for the M1 carbine using a bolt and operating rod that bear strong resemblance to the M1 Garand family. This firearm has served France through some very tumultuous times. Ruger's Mini-14 didn't really get much traction uh, with military forces around the world, but they were used uh, in particular by uh, police agencies, prison guards and that sort of thing. I think it's an underappreciated gun in this day and age with a lot of your M16, AR-15, M4 variants out there, your black rifle platforms. Uh, something with a wooden stock is uh, it's comforting, and uh, and the uh, the Ruger provides you with that. In, in select fire, you can go uh, a semi-automatic, a full burst, three-shot burst, and uh, and you know, and seeing it being deployed and used, even though Ruger hasn't been. Uh, actually servicing the gun since 2009 and and stopped production I think in, in 1999 of this gun uh, the fact that it's still out there and still seeing uh, seeing work today is uh, is testament to the to the uh, to the durability of this firearm this version is of the type that can be purchased and privately owned in France now because this is a deactivated version these deactivations are, are are readily available in the deactivated firearms market in France today. And they can only be owned as deactivated weapons because of the fact that they're, they're in a military caliber. The ever famous and, and endlessly popular 5.56 by 45 millimeter cartridge. This particular one is designated AP, Administration Penitentiaire, the prison administration. So this is a firearm that would be used by French prison guards. This firearm differs slightly from American versions of the Mini-14 in a couple of ways. The most obvious is that the stock is somewhat finer in detail and manufacturing than the commercially readily available Mini-14s. And here you have everything that looks just like a standard Mini-14 rifle, except that when you inspect the receiver markings, they're in French on the heel of the receiver. And then on the side, you're missing in both locations the markings that you typically see. In fact, when Ruger manufactured this firearm for the French government, the receiver markings are moved beneath the wood line so that they're not immediately visible. So from the war on terror in the 1980s to the war on terror in the 21st century, this little French Mini-14 is still out there to this very day serving the French government. The French version of the Ruger Mini 14 is actually a pretty rare gun here in the United States. Anyhow, that's all the time that we have for this week. If you like this show and you're not an NRA member, you need to join right now. For more information or to sign up, go to AmericanRifeman.org. I'm Mark Keefe, and I'll see you next week right here on American Rifleman Television.